Today I'm at Rossfield Farm to have a look at uh, Stuart Barber's collection of MF tractors. So we have a few sitting in the yard here. Here we have a 390 low profile. So I'm just going to walk around and talk at the same time, hopefully be okay. Oop. John Deere 1355 more. And this uh, 390-1212 is on an M plate. This is number one tractor of the collection. This is a 6480 Dyna Shift. So this is the, the third tractor in the collection, it's a 7480 Dyna VT. I'll just go and look at the plate number on the, the back here. On a 54 plate this one. And it's a 05 plate this one. And here we have a 390. A J plate. On the slasher for the potatoes here. That's tractor number four. This is tractor number five, a 4270 on the sprayer, on a power shift 2424 gearbox. On the potato harvester today, we have a 6480 Dyna 6. This is tractor number six. And here we have uh, Stuart's name on the side here. Uh, he's very proud of his collection, so he should be. It's wonderful. <laughs> and this is on a 06 plate, this one. Hi, this one's on a 51 plate. It's not easy to see all the numbers uh, with the machinery being there. Power shuttle 2424. And here we have some grain from the grain harvest this year, obviously. Ferguson Combine, no cabin. It's on a B Reg BWG 432B. I don't know what kind it is, other than, well, the model number anyway. Uh, it's quite dark in here, so it might not be very good. Stuart did say that uh, he will someday take them out. I could come back and video them. Uh, it's a, this one's a massive Ferguson 390 with a loader here. Uh, it's a massive Ferguson 400, uh, the combine. And how things have changed over the years. K813 RSW. So I've had to switch my light on in the camera so it might not be too clever. It's, uh, I'll do the tractor number eight. It's a 3085 Massey Ferguson Dyna Shift Autotronic. Uh, I won't be able to see the plate in that one, but that's what it is. And that's tractor number eight. And tractor number nine, I'm not very sure what this one is. I can't really get around to see it. It's uh, probably a 135. 
I would imagine. Yeah, you got the <laughs> little uh, fertilizer spinner here. The next one, which is, we'll call this tractor number nine. That's tractor number eight. No, number ten. It's Foxtrot 133 ESW. I'll find out uh, what it is when I go around the front there. Uh, I think this is tractor number 10. It's a 365 on the plate, I did say at the end there. <laughs> and here we have a Massey Ferguson dung spreader. I think I'll have to forget about the registration because it's just I can't get in to see them, to be honest. Here we have a Massey Ferguson uh, 230. Which I think is tractor number 12. And tractor 13 is a Massey Ferguson 35. With the plough in the back here. Uh, tractor 14, it's a Massey Ferguson uh, 375, 1212 gearbox, uh, supplied by Clayton and Son. Here we have a 565 underneath the covers here. Must be one of his favourites, it's all covered up and it's a USF 690R number I've just lost count of the tractor so I'll just have to count them later on November 7 6, 8, Tango Kilo Sierra on an end plate here and it's a Mar Massey Ferguson 352 four wheel drive which is probably quite unusual. 265 there. <laughs> and here we have a, a 698. So they're all quite uh, tight, quite packedly here. That's not the right word. Here we have a 595 with uh, the wheels that uh, you can put out, just forget the name of the, the actual thing. I think it's power assisted variable track, if I remember correctly. It's a 595. on a E plate, well it's actually an S plate, ECG 297S. That's a 698, I've looked at, looked at it before. And it's uh, on a Y plate, TUJ 333Y. I think of, no, I'm not sure if I've done this one or not, it's a 265. Charlie, 952 Papa Alpha Oscar, this one. And it's a 265. And here we have a 590 with a number plate on the side here, which is quite unusual. Don't know why that should be. It's a 590, of course. Just catch this one and it's uh, another Charlie, Charlie 762, Mike, Romeo, November, and it's a 
One with a loader again. A 290 Synchro 12. Just need to watch my... Don't slash my legs here. Another loader tractor. I need to just take this sheet back. It's a MF-188 multi-power. And it's a Golf, Sierra Golf, 306 November. Uh, from bygone days, uh, the earmuffs there. Yeah. Can I see it? Uh, we even have the, the wing mirror. So, I would imagine it was quite unusual in these days. So, I've still got the, I think, another couple of tractors over there. And that will be this shed done. A little Ferguson sprayer here. All things have got so much larger than as time has gone on. So I'm just walking and talking and probably not making a very good job of it, but that's the best I can do at the moment. Just try to find my way back out of here. I think we did look at all that one, all these ones. Big heavy arms there. Different drawbar system. So there is. So some of the modern machinery there. We're kicking out to hay, silage, grass, whatever. So I'll just take a, a sweep to let you see what's actually in this shed. And here we have, as far as I'm concerned, the start of the show, MF-1200. I don't expect there's many of these kicking around nowadays. I need to ask Stuart uh, if it's actually bought in or just uh, if it was ever used on this farm. I don't imagine it would be, but I could be wrong. Maybe get a go at driving it someday, who knows? No problem. That's a number plate. Mike Romeo Sierra 50W MF1200. I've never actually seen one working on a farm at all. Take it further back, try and get it all in. So, I have another shed to go to. Probably two, actually. After here. So there's no lights on in this camera whatsoever at the moment. I'm just getting the light from the shed. So although it's quite dark, it's turned out fairly well, to be honest, if I can get my shadow cut out there. So it's a very good camera in the, in the darkness, really. Really pleased, it's a new camera I've got. A Sony HDR PJ 650VE. I've only had it a month. So it's very, very happy with it.